Now, Malaysian investigators have taken charge of these two black box flight recorders recovered uh, by anti-government fighters at the crash site of MH17. The handover, which you can see here, took place in Donetsk, from where Artis Roman Kosarev joins us live now. Um, Roman, there was an awful lot of concern, wasn't there, about these flight recorders? Absolutely, and that was perhaps uh, the biggest news in the last 24-hour period, along with the fact that uh, international experts finally arrived here at the scene of the crash five days after it took place. Uh, the anti kiev forces did indeed hand over the uh, uh, black boxes to Malaysian authorities late at night, and uh, they provided that uh, them with them uh, on the condition that they will share the information from the black boxes with the international aviation authorities. Uh, like I said, international experts uh, just arrived and uh, the first expert on the scene uh, was um, Dutch forensics uh, expert Peter van Fleet and um, he ex examined the site where the bodies uh, that were recovered were stored uh, in the city of Torres about 10-15 kilometers away from the crash site. They were stored in uh, uh, railway refrigerator cars and after he visited the site uh, he said uh, he was absolutely uh, satisfied with the environment that uh, they were stored in. Now speaking of the bodies now they are on the on their way to the Netherlands. Uh, they've left uh, the rebel-controlled uh, territory. Um uh, earlier uh, on uh, Monday, and they are now en route to the Netherlands. Now. Uh, OSC who are also monitoring uh, what's going on here. They've been here uh, starting from the second day after the crash. Uh, they said they have been granted full access to the site and everything that has to do uh, with the crash of flight to MH17. Meanwhile, uh, the president of Ukraine, Pyotr Poroshenko, he had announced a no combat zone in the 40 kilometer radius around the crash sites, but uh, that apparently uh, had not been observed. It was agreed upon with uh, uh, the self-proclaimed defense forces here in eastern Ukraine. Uh, uh, but uh, Ukrainian aviation uh, was noticed over the crash site. Uh, they uh, flew to the town of Snezhnoya and uh, uh, airstrikes uh, had been uh, reported there as well. Now, let's go back to Malaysian experts who uh, arrived here on uh, Monday, but they could not get to the site of the crash right away. And uh, according to uh, a spokesperson from the self-defense forces, uh, the, as soon as Malaysian experts were about to leave, the uh, area was uh, bombarded as well, so they couldn't get to the site right away. Uh, perhaps the, that will happen uh, later on in the day. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thanks, Roman. That's uh, Artis Roman Kosarev uh, live there from Donetsk.